Welcome back to Cookies and Milk. Welcome back to Cookies and Milk. I'm your host, Ben. I'm your host, William. This is a video game podcast where sometimes we just don't talk about video, video games. Uh, today's not one of those episodes because I have a topic about video games. Right. Uh, and you pre-planned this. You asked me to... I did. Uh, think of spin-off games, and I didn't. Uh, I yeah, thought of one. That's cool, because I also pretty much didn't. Uh, Come on, dude. <laughs> fucking, you were like, I can't think of any, and I was like, me neither. That's why I gave us so long to think about it. <laughs> also, we're having uh, cake, and it's not Ben's birthday cake, because that'd be weird. We're just having cake that was made on Tuesday. Yeah, our family just made some cake. Or no, Sunday. Yes. Yeah, it was Sunday. Anyways, uh, my, ta- my topic is spinoff games. Uh, and I had trouble deciding for myself what exactly uh, defined a spinoff game. And I was like, uh, a game that's not necessarily canon. And I was like... Uh, I, don't think, I don't think that's the case either. Yeah, I was like, I was deciding between a game that wasn't canon or a game that didn't follow the uh, same formula as other games. I'm going to say a spinoff game would be something like Tales from the Borderlands. But also another uh, spinoff game that just came to my, uh, that just, that I just thought of was Halo Wars. An RTS style game that is normally in the first person shooter. Halo Wars is a good example because Halo Wars does like everything different. Yeah. Uh, it sets you up in, like, a different setting than the original Halo. It's, different characters. It's canon, right. but it's very different. And by uh, canon, I mean, it's... I just... Halo 2... Halo Wars 2 takes place ten years after the original, or something like that, where they've been cryo-froze. Uh, they've, sure. they've gone into cryostasis, so they're just removed from the plot... Ah. So it's like one of those, they do this big battle, but then it doesn't matter. They're like, they don't... None of it actually matters at the uh, actual plot of Halo. Yeah, it's removed, and then something... And then uh, the game, the main antagonist for Halo Wars 2 is a Covenant uh, berserker? Brute. Brute. A brute who a brute general who was kicked out of the Covenant and then gathered his forces and then waited for there to be a peace treaty... And the Covenant to stand down, then he attacked. Right. So he was out of the story altogether. Um, they do that a they do that a lot in games. That's pretty much the uh, base for a spinoff. Yeah. Uh, Shadow of Mordor isn't a spinoff. So much. Oh yeah. Uh, is that where you were talking about Shadow of Mordor? Because I was thinking about spinoffs. Yeah. No, I wasn't actually even thinking about it as a spinoff. Oh. Because it, it's not. Shadow of Mordor is a, sort of an exception. It's just another movie game tie-in. I wouldn't call it that. It's it's Lord of the Rings. It's under the name of Lord of the Rings. Right. But it's not... I mean, if you wouldn't call it that, then you can't even call it a spinoff because it's so far removed from Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Uh, my topic, or my specific game of choice, was the Mario games. Oh, what can be called a spinoff there, though? Sports games. Sports games. Mario Party. Uh, kart games. Yeah. Wario games were uh, originally a spinoff. Yeah, or the Wario Wear game. Wario games were a spinoff, and then got its own spinoff because they stopped making Wario games. Yeah, it's that seems kind of sad. Yeah. Because I uh, I don't care about Wario Wear. I mean, it's uh, it's a interesting thing. It's like fun. Uh, I definitely only played the Wario Wear on the Wii. Yeah. And I like the Fronks. Yeah, Wii U. Yeah. And I like the Fronks, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. But. Uh, I played... It's like Wario, uh... What's the game called? I have Wario and... What, sh- Shake It? No, uh, what's the game called on the Wii U? WarioWare... Fuck. It's not WarioWare. Game, game and Wario. Game and Wario, sorry. Game and it's Wario. It's not even Wario. It's a then. spin-off of WarioWare. Yeah, that's weird. It has all the same characters, but just in a different setting. Yeah, and it's like, the only time it actually feels like a WarioWare game is when you're playing a game... Based on some oh, playing yeah. game. That's cool. That's yeah. a fun thing. I honestly, that game is really fun. Uh, game and Wario. It resonates my... with our childhood. Yeah. Uh, it's one of my. It's just nice to sit down and do because uh, for those of you who haven't played Game and Wario, there's a game in which Nine Volt uh, yeah. is playing video games uh, and he's like playing WarioWare. But in or in addition to playing WarioWare, 
you have to, uh, you're playing WarioWare on your Wii U gamepad, and on the TV screen, your mom is going to jump in. Yeah. Like, your mom is going to, like, open the door, and if she catches you, it's game over. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of things that, like, aren't actually your mom. Right. Uh, and you have to, like, keep focusing on uh, in between them. And she's also a reality master. Right. She can bend time and space to her. When Jump she, out of the TV. Not uh, your TV, the TV in 9 volts room. Right. Uh, she can maybe jump out of the TV, because we haven't... Oh, right, we haven't gotten that far. We haven't gotten that far, right. There's a part where she actually kills you. But it's so good. It's such a... It's just... They pinpoint... They... Yeah, they pinpointed... The, the exact feeling? The exact feeling, because, like, I don't know about you, but I've... I mean, I know. I know about you. You know about me. Uh, We've both been... We've both done the thing where we're, like, uh, on, all that, on electronics, and then you hear the... And you're like, oh, fuck. And you pretend you're asleep. God. Uh, and then they, like, you hear the... Or it might just be them to let the dogs out or something. And yeah. you feel like, oh, I just got away with murder. Uh, or when it doesn't work and it's just like, oh, God, go to bed. Yeah, oh, damn. It doesn't even, like, uh... Oh, damn. Kids these days have it so easy because electronics are so much, uh... There's backlights on everything. Yeah. There wasn't backlights on... When there weren't backlights on, like, Game Boy Advances and but shit. But at the same time, I'd say it was harder. Uh, I don't know. Would you say it's harder to get uh, caught today or easier? Uh, it might. I guess it depends. Uh, if your room is open. Right. Then it's harder. Because you will see the light. Uh, Either way, it'll be harder. Yeah. Uh, but the Game Boy Advance. The Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Color, Game Boy Original, Game Boy Advance, those were the hard days. Yeah. And it was like, uh, Game Boy Advance was a really tough one, because it wasn't like, like if you have a 3DS now, you, s yeah. you close it. You have a phone, you turn it off. SP, uh, that's where it started. Yeah. SP, uh, I, I wish I had gotten an SP sooner, because it is dripping with charm. I love the SP. The Game Boy SP is a great console. Uh... Uh, rechargeable battery. It was like it did everything right that the uh, uh, Game Boy Advance did wrong. It was the, it was the, it's the perfect version of the Game Boy. Uh, it snaps closed. Uh, that was the point where games started getting a sleep feature. Yeah. Uh, there was the sleep feature. It, it could snap close. It had a backlight. It it was small, but it felt good in your hands. It had a rechargeable battery. Uh, you didn't need a, you could turn off the backlight if you wanted to. Yeah. Uh, I, that was some of the best, that was a, a fun time when you and I were really stoked to do a rival run, our first rival run. Oh, yeah. Green and so Fire Red. we ended up buying a Game Boy SP. And it was hard to find, Red though. Green. Yeah. Uh, I had to sell, I sold mine a while back. I feel bad I did it, because it was a Donkey Kong Country, uh, it was lime green, uh, I mean, I wish I could have gotten a blue one. Maybe yeah. I'll maybe I'll get one another day. But it was a lime green Donkey Kong Country one, and uh, playing Leaf Green on it was fun. It was it was very it was well polished. It was fine. Like yours is kind of scratched up and old. Yeah. Once we're uh, rich and everything, we could buy the red and blue ones and get ruby and sapphire. Oh on man. It. Speaking of which. Um, red and blue. You need to grind up, I know, I'm sorry about this, but you need to grind your team up to level 30. For the Nuzlocke rival run. Oh, right, yeah. Because I, I, when I'm playing, when I'm playing a game on my 3DS and I uh, press the home menu to get out of it and I see Pokemon Blue right above where my cartridge game goes in, I'm just... Walk further to the side, you gotta move it further to the side, it's easier fucking to put mad. off. No! <laughs> uh, and I did this... Fuck you, also, because you did this to yourself. Uh, you also did this to me. Uh, ben, didn't. Ben, when we started the rival run, he was like, I'm not going to look up the levels, because I just want to go in uh, blind. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'll do that too. And I got to Lieutenant Surge, and I was so scared that I grinded up all, my, all six of my team to level 30 and crushed Lieutenant Surge. The reason... Uh as a brief introduction, for those of you at home who haven't played Pokemon Red or Pokemon Blue or Green or Yellow, the first boss is Rock type, which is super effective against Fire. The second boss is Water type, which is super effective against Fire. 
So I picked Charmander, so I had really no choice but to grind the fuck out of my team to give me any chance against Brock. I grind the fuck out of my team to give me any chance against Misty. I'm going to say, though, that this is revenge for what the fuck happened in our uh, Ruby and Sapphire rival run Nuzlocke. Oh, yeah. You know what the fuck happened? <laughs> fuck you. Because Ben was like, hey, I beat Roxanne fine. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. And Roxanne was just like, and then Ben's like, what happened? You know what? I'll give you a retry. That wasn't even, like, my fault. You, I got a lucky crit, and you got the opposite of a lucky crit. God. Like, uh, and I beat it. I beat her on that second try, but with two Pokemon left, Ben's like, I don't feel good about this. Yeah. And then we stopped. Yeah, we stopped doing it. Because I can't do anything with... It was a Ninkata and what? A Wurmple? Probably. A Lotad? Lotad's a good Pokemon. Yeah, Lotad's... That I would have taken from Lotad's you. Lotad's fine. You would have taken the Ninkata. I think I did. Yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, let's talk about the Nuzlocke uh, with the blue and red, though. Because you screwed me over. You took my Bellsprout... My best God. Pokemon. We're doing uh, Rival Run Nuzlocke in this, and I fucking hate Red and Blue. Going back to this, I was like, this game fucking sucks. Uh, William's got a fucking uh, Bellsprout who knew Bind? What was it, just Bind? It was Bind and Poison Powder, I think. Bind and Poison Powder, and it was just like, hey, what are you gonna do? I can still do moves. And it's like, I want to not do this anymore. Find is kind of broken because you know, Pokemon, the other Pokemon cannot do a move and cannot get switched out. So they're stuck. And then you and if poison. And if Bellsprout goes first, I I killed Ben's Charmeleon. Yeah. With that. It was literally, the only reason I got through it was because my Beedrill uh, was faster mm-hmm. and I just got a lucky hit on it and I killed it. And the I just immediately, I was like, I'm taking this and I'm putting it in a box. You can't have it anymore. This thing is going to jail. And you gave me two, and you gave me your Zubats, so I have two Zubats. Yeah, dude. And now I have two Golbats. That's how you do it. Uh, I lost, and to anyone, this is just a word of wisdom to anyone running a Nuzlocke in Leaf Green or Fire Red or Gen 1 in general. Don't assume if you have a Squirtle or even Bulbasaur, don't assume you can just plow through Diglett Cave because I saw it happen to Pro Jared in his Fire Red Nuzlocke run. He lost his his War Turtle in Diglett Cave and it happened to me. I lost my War Turtle Those in Diglett's Diglett Cave. Those Diglett's I just like, I've been grinding a lot and I just haven't even fucking gone in there. Don't go to Diglett Cave. I'll just screw you over. Because you can't escape Diglett's either. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, they have a Rita Trap, dude. A Rita Trap doesn't in Gen there's, 1. There's no effects in Gen 1. But I don't, I think it is hard to run away from Diglett's e- either way. But I have, I have fucking, what's my team? I'm going to open my 3DS and look at my team, because I like my team. I like my Pokemon. Yeah, I'm also a fan of mine. Uh, I'm playing Monster Hunter. Hold on. God, you don't need to do this. I'm going to save my game. You don't need to do this right now. Um, we can still talk. Oh, God. Uh, all right, so speaking of spinoffs, Pokemon has had a lot of spinoffs. Definitely. Uh, Pokemon has had Pokemon Troze, Pokemon Dash, Pokemon Conquest. Pinball. Pinball. Uh, what about Stadium and Coliseum? And Gale of Darkness. Yeah, XD. XD, of course. Uh, there's a lot of spinoffs, and I, or, uh, and recently even Pokemon Battle. Yeah. There's a lot of games, uh, and they just keep sort of coming out. Yeah. Nintendo's got a sort of sweet Pokemon, spot. Would you consider Pokemon Go a spinoff? Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, I would. What about the trading card game? Uh, yeah, uh, yes. Can you call that a spinoff game, though? It is a game, and it's not the main story game. So, that being said, would you call, uh, any Magic the Gathering games spinoff games? Uh, that's a, I would, there's Puzzle Quest? There's Magic Puzzle Quest? Yeah. Uh, and I would call that a spinoff game. It's hard to, uh... It's hard to call something that's just the basics of the game as it's a spin-off. It's just the same thing again. It, it's not really a spin-off. Right. Uh, did you play... You played Conquest, right? Pokemon Conquest? Yeah. 
Oh, Misery Dungeon is also... How do I forget Misery Dungeon? Fucking Misery Dungeon is the best spin-off. Misery Dungeon is, like, such a good game. I did play Conquest. There's a lot of stuff. Uh, There's a lot of stuff uh, wrapped in it. Yeah. Um, Like, every single character has a story. Oh, you you play through the... You beat the main game, and then you get through the story. Uh, It's a very interesting game, Uh, but after a while, I just lost interest in it, because the main game, and I was trying to get through all the different storylines, but I just... Just couldn't. I couldn't be. I was going through the same maps, fighting the same battles, uh, with the same Pokemon. It wasn't getting better. I feel like that's. It was a strategy RPG, right? Uh, yeah. I feel like that's what the issue is with a lot of strategy RPGs, or fucking even RPGs in general have this issue. Uh, but strategy RPGs exclusive uh, have it in a different way. And then it's like, hey, uh, now that you beat in the main story, you can do these stories. And it's like, uh, are they more? And it's like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and then you either get to a point where the level is too high, and you'd be, this guy is. I was gonna say Disgaea. Really, Disgaea is bad about it. Like I don't. Uh, there's this mission in Disgaea D two, uh, Brighter Darkness, uh, in which it's like, okay, uh, this seems doable, and I got I got through some stages, and then there was this stage that's just like, if you don't have a magic user, uh, you're fucking done, and I didn't. I don't use magic users in Disguise. I mean, like, oh, it's kind of iffy. But if I just... The main cast and some of the characters I make that are just uh, attack-oriented, they're yeah. fine. I yeah. don't care about uh, what else they do. And I mean, with the book user uh, in the new D- in D2, uh, I can't call it new anymore. 2014. Christ. Really? Uh, but with the book user, that's that gets the elemental coverages down. Yeah. And if you train, uh, if you uh, have your a pupil who is a magic user train their master or something like that, they can use the spell. Right, so, so then... I just try to give that to them, but it's useless. I don't... It doesn't hold up. Yeah. Uh, I've opened Pokemon Blue. I'm going to show off my team. Go ahead. I have Bernoa, a Sand Slash, and I love her. And I have Sonil, the Golbat I caught. And then you ha- and then I got Nasher, Eradicate. So these are looking pretty uh, standard. I got Duo, and I like the name because it reminds me of our cat Double, and it's a Persian. Oh. Uh, and then I got Pod Racing, which was you. That's you gave me this. It's your Butterfree. Oh, Metapod. You asshole. Metapod Racing. Uh, it's strong. And I got Uwubat. You're you're Zubat. <laughs> I don't get names. Uh, the rules you for, crippled me. The rules for a rival and does like for those of you who are unaware, uh, you can only catch the first Pokemon you find on a route. You can't catch the same Pokemon twice. Uh, at the end of every gym battle, you have to fight your uh, rival, and then the winner gets to choose a Pokemon to trade. So you do have to trade something, even if you win. You cannot trade starters. Can't trade starters. You can never pick starters. Uh, if Pokemon faints, it's dead unless it fights in the rival battle. Uh, but so what ended up happening, because since you, I had to trade something, I was like, uh, you can have this Metapod. Yeah. Because, uh, I'm not going to use it. What did you take? What? What did you take? Did you take my Pidgey or something? Uh. Did I have a Pidgey? I'm checking. I'll check the Pokedex. Yeah, of all the things I did have had. a Pidgey. I think you might have taken my Pidgey. I probably took your Pidgey. That seems reasonable. Um, I guess I don't need it, because I have the Zubat. Do you have two Zubats? I have two Golbats, actually. Two bats? Uh, they're all... I have six level 30 Pokemon, way too over-leveled. Yeah, I call my boyfriend and ask him to open up my Pokemon and tell me what I've got <laughs> in the... I'm so mad you're not even using a Car... I think her name is Carvilla. Yeah, I think Carvilla's the one. I'm not, because I can't have you getting her back. <laughs> um... That's not a ch- risk I'm willing to take. Uh, uh, I'm eternally beating myself up for the biggest mistake I ever made. We did a leaf green, uh, fire red, uh, Nuzlocke at some point. Uh, and my team was literally just, like, based around countering every single one of William's strategies. Uh, cause William's team was, like, really good, and my team was not. Uh, <laughs> William had, like, a Nidoqueen. I can't even remember. You had a Nidoqueen, 
And you had a uh, you had Nidoqueen, Queen, you had Blastoise. Those are the only Pokemon. Nidoqueen, Queen, Blastoise, Aerodactyl, Christ, yeah, Voltorb. Aerodactyl. Uh, who else? Did I have a fighting type? I don't think so. I really. You have it on your Fire Red version. You have them all. I have my team. No, yeah. you have my team too. Are oh, you just traded me the team? I gave you the team. Uh, I think. It might be in Pokebank. It might be in Pokebank by now. Uh, I hope so. Uh, I love how... I love... There's no disconnect between generations switching, right? I don't think so. Uh, but we got to the final battle, and we were like... Uh, ha- if I won it, it would have been a draw. Between every single fight, it would have been a draw. Yeah, it was one, and then the other, and then the other. We uh, both had Voltor. We both had we both Electrodes, had I know that. Yeah, Electrode. You uh, had... I also had Doug Trio. Did we both have Doug Trio? We might have all both had Doug Trio. Uh, I had Pidgeot. I feel like that would have been weird. I mean, what, it's, you named what your happens. Slam Gizzard. That's a pretty cool name, though. Uh, yeah, it was. What did uh, I name mine? Was it Mega Man? Leviathan. Oh, it's Leviathan. Uh, I had. Uh, it was. No, Mega Man was my original game. Slamamander, yeah. uh, Jamelian. And then Slam Jazard. Right, of course. Uh, Eris so, was my Aerodactyl. I loved that name. And, like, because uh, that was back when you were, uh, you switched out a lot. Yeah, I did switch out a lot. Uh, and I was like, fuck, I gotta... I because gotta... you would throw out the counter. Of course I would throw out the counter when my Pokemon died. And then I was like, alright, so my Pokemon would have, like, all this bullshit going on. So my team, and I remember it, I had uh, Charizard, Pidgeot... Snorlax, Lapras, uh, Electrode, and Dugtrio. Yeah. And I fucked up real bad because uh, TMs were one shot and I gave uh, Snorlax Solar Beam because I didn't have <laughs> anything set up for it. I literally, and then I just, I had it all. I had it right there and I just didn't realize it because I taught Pidgeot Sunny Day and I taught, I should have taught Slam Jazar and Solar Beam. So I could have gone, uh, because I got you down to your last Pokemon in that last fight. Leviathan. It was just Leviathan, and it was just Slam Jazard, and I was like, I had a sunny day off, Leviathan was like at half health. No, didn't you hit me with a solar beam and he survived? No, I didn't. Or I might hit you with Snorlax's solar beam. What did you hit me with? Like, Fire Blast? It was bad. Like, I was low health, and then I hit you... With one hit, and just whip! Hydro Pump, right? Yeah. It was something like that. It was, I, like... It was so satisfying. But it was, like, because I didn't hit you with Solar Beam, and I remember that, and I'm always going to hate myself for it. Check. Do I have it? But, uh, that's what I'm learning. That's what I'm going to not do this time around. I don't even have I to worry about it. I can't do anything. Also, I, don't have, I don't have my Leviathan anymore. Blocked. I lost War Turtle in a cave. You didn't even kill him. Uh, I have two goddamn gold bats. <laughs> I have a fucking Butterfree. I mean, a Butterfree's fine if it follows my commands. My team is like, uh, Charmeleon, Beedrill, Raticate, uh... <sighs> I feel like I have something else. I can't even remember. I gotta open it up. I'm liking Duo. I love, I love my, I love the Pokemon I have. I like Sand Slash is one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, this is the first time I've ever, uh, used a Persian before. Uh, first time I've ever seriously used uh, Golbat. Um, I've used Radicate before, but I think I might have to hold on to it as, for as long as possible, which I'd never do. But this is what I love about Nuzlocks, because it makes you realize just how many options there are in Pokemon. Right. And it takes you out of your comfort zone. And how many of them are bad? Maybe not yet, though, uh, because right now it's pretty... It's still pretty simple in red and blue, and also on the f- first three towns. So it's not going to be... You're not going to have everything yet, but right. like you'll be running into more and more Pokemon as time goes on. More and more Pokemon out of the... Out of... 100, 150 is not that many when it really comes down to it. not that many. Because it's 150 minus all the starters. Yeah. Uh, so that's 141 minus uh, Mew or Mewtwo, because we're not going to fucking get Mewtwo. Right. Minus the three legendary birds is like 137 Pokemon. And you gotta realize that a lot of them are just more of the same. Yeah. Because it's like three down for Pidgey and Pidgeotto and stuff. 
and it's uh, like two down for Firo and Spiro. There's six bugs, and it's just like, god damn it. I mean, they all represent. There's like little groups of typing. Yeah. It. Uh, and it's it's fine. It's it does it does what it needs to do for the starting of the series. Yeah. Uh. But there's so much. It's 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 created something great, but fucking when people are like, oh. Gen One's the best. They're actually spitting in Gen One's face. Yeah. By because Gen, Gen One's like, look at the things I was able to. Look at the things I inspired. I I, I I I inspired, and it's like you're the best. These are the things you inspired are garbage. Uh, it's effectively like uh, a family who's been uh, training themselves to be the best at whatever they're doing, and being like, it's not gonna get better than that first one. And it's like, what about all these kids I've had, yeah. the successes I've raised? Yeah. Fuck them. Uh, when the, when they first came out with the, uh, it was, was sort of, was it red, blue, and green, or was it just red and blue? On the virtual It was, shop? oh, it was just red and blue and yellow. Red, blue, and yellow, uh, cause they were like, uh, these are coming out, and it's like, uh, I was like, oh man, that's pretty interesting. And then you and our younger sister were like, so are you, when are you getting red, so we can all start our, uh, run together? And I was like, yeah. oh. And then Isabel dropped out after the first week. Because she didn't want and to now she trade just with us. Doesn't play. Yeah. God, that and she was like, "Oh yeah, I played yell." She was uh, she brought this up, and she was like, "Oh, I played uh yellow or something like that," and I and I was like, "Oh, did you actually? Oh no, you quit after day two. Yeah. Uh, and she's like, "Yeah," and I'm like, "Why would you even bring that up? <laughs> I hate you for that." Uh, I don't hate our little sister. <laughs> Uh, no, I feel it. I get, uh, I also hate her little sister. <laughs> no, I don't she's in bed sister. upstairs above us. She can hear every one of our words. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's just sort of one of those things that it's like, I don't know why I'm like this, but whenever it's like, oh man, I played X and X and X game. It's like, oh yeah. And it's like, yeah, I got like, uh, to the first level before I had to stop playing. And I was like, I guess. You're also like that with people who watch Let's Plays, right? Uh, if I mean, if they claim they played a game, then... Yeah, that's it's... A uh, I don't mean to be like this, but my issue is always, like, somebody's like, oh, man, I've been watching X person play this game, and I can't believe X and X and X thing happens. And it never... I, th- this is a shitty thing of me to think, but it never feels as genuine to me as if someone has actually played the game. Because you got on my case for uh, when I said I liked Um Jammer Lammy. And Parappa the Rapper. Yeah. Because I watched Let's Plays of it. And it wasn't like, uh, oh, hey guys, welcome to my Let's Play. I just watched all the levels. Yeah, you just watched all the levels. Because uh, it's fun, because it's music. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember what you said exactly. Good, I'm glad. Uh, it was like, I don't, I don't think you could say you're really a fan of it or something like that. that- and then you choked me. <laughs> <laughs> again, <laughs> crazily enough. It was about Power Rangers again. I'm doing it. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, it's, uh, man, we spun off into a, uh, darker uh, place where we have to talk about, like, my darkness. I mean, being an elite gamer, ugh. I don't want to be this person. You're not that person, But dude. it's like, it's like the little thoughts in the back of my head that it's like, oh man, uh, that's not a real genuine emotion, because you didn't actually, like, play the game and everything, and it's like, hey, hey, shut the fuck up! Uh, do you ever have the thought if you're like watching something and it's like people genuinely being friends, uh, and you're like, uh, what if this one person just was like went off the rails, uh, and I don't, I feel like it would have such a terrible outcome for the person who did that, and I just fucking lose it, and I'm just like, uh, they just started like shouting, like they just started shouting at someone, and they're it's like, like, fuck you, and, it's, and they're like, whoa. <laughs> I just, I'm like, oh god, it'd be so awkward and bad to see, but holy shit. It's like, there's something extraordinarily, I, there's a lot to comedy about just, like, really unexpected things. Yeah. Uh, and it's just like, that shouldn't be happening all of a sudden. Uh, and it's just really out there, and I think there's something purely comedic about just, like, the most absurd thing happening right at that moment, even if it's just, like, a really wacky thing. I think it'd be really funny if it was just, like, a bunch of people talking. One person just, like, flips the fucking table over. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. why did you do that? 
uh, or is, um, on a, another topic about uh, friends, do you ever watch people online like there? Have you ever watched Nintendo Minute? No. Uh, it's mainly held by these uh, two people. It's a man and a woman, and I'm and I and I I always wonder if they're uh, when the camera turns off if they're still friends. Yeah. And I mean, I hope that's always the case. But I'm always scared. It's like they it turns off, and then they just like kind of go walk their away. separate. Yeah, they walk away, or yeah. they just don't like each other, and that's that hurts. That would hurt. I don't think it's the case yeah. with the Nintendo Minute people. I mean, it seems like the best sort of on-screen chemistry comes from off-screen chemistry. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I did have uh, Welcome to the Darkness uh, oh, hour no. of the podcast. I was watching this video today, uh, and it was like uh, Commander versus. And one of the people was getting, like, really mad because oh, the one no. person kept attacking them over and over and over again. He was like, why are you getting mad at me? And he was like, dude, was a five life with, like, no board. And he was like, I, he kept making it useless. And he was like, why do you keep doing this despite everybody else's board? And it's right. just like, why are you getting mad? And then the guy uh, posted Twitter and he was like, don't you want to have fun and everything? He was oh. like, does, does anybody play for fun? When people in the comments were like, why the fuck did you do that? And he yeah. was like, man... Is him getting mad, like, that bad a thing as a reaction to that? I bring this up because I play... Because it happens to you all the time. It happens to me all and the time. And if people who watch Whose Turn Is It Anyway, probably more so than this podcast... Uh, there's a... In the second episode of Whose Turn Is It Anyway, the, like, the only... The, there's two episodes in the second one. I got so mad. <laughs> and I, like... I get mad a lot of the time in uh, games like that. And I'm like, is that... Like a bad thing? Is it bad that I get that mad about these things? I mean, the question is, how do you, how does it does do you ever put the shoe on the other foot? Do I ever uh, see other people get mad? No, do it to Mitchell. I no. You uh, don't. I literally can't. My uh. Do you not have a deck that's no. made for uh, busting out of the gate? No, hold on. Here's the issue. Even when I am getting busting out of the gate, I'm always focused on who's a higher threat than I am. No, do it to Mitchell. Next time, just do it to Mitchell. I should? Fucking, he kills me anyways. We played this one game uh, where it was me, him, and George. And I was like, hey, George, reveal your hand. And I made him discard his instant. And he also had a uh, parallel eyes in hand, which just lets any of his planeswalkers go infinite immediately. Right. And I was like, uh, George, I have to kill you now for this. <laughs> and I was just attacking him with a big old 7-2 indestructible. Yeah. And then Mitchell destroyed it and then destroyed my other creature. And then started beating the shit out of me. And I was like, uh, Mitchell, please. Mitchell, George is going to win the game. Right. And Mitchell killed me. And I was like, uh, I assume you have a solution for George. And then George killed his threat. And Mitchell fucking lost the game. And right, I was like, of course. <sighs> it, and that has happened more times than I would like to admit. I am mad about it. It's, uh, and I think my win-lose ratio to you, I'm positive. Yeah. I've beaten you more times yeah. than you've beaten me. I lose a lot in Magic. This is the <laughs> thing about me playing Magic. I mean, I, I don't know when the videos. I'm not gonna say anything, because uh, that's a spoiler. But I don't. That type of thing must. I don't know. Kind of get you. Does it ever get you? It fucking gets me. Like uh, uh what? Well, it's on the podcast. But, uh, would you say, were you, were you mad when I beat you last Saturday? Uh, no. I think that was a really good game. Uh, I think there were a lot of ups and a lot of downs in that game. And both decks did exactly what they wanted to do. Um, it's weird. Because I can't imagine that game ever going longer than what it did. Yeah. 1v1 games tend to go short. Yeah. Unless I, I've got decks that go longer. But if you have someone that just doesn't go longer, right? It's all it, it's decks have to match each other. Have you ever played a disjointed game of Magic? Oh yeah, absolutely. The fucking uh, the, <laughs> the second game of Who's Turn? <laughs> I could do an entire two hour podcast where I just get mad about that fucking and break game. it down. Yeah, uh, here's a list of things that happen. Uh, Randy tries to stop Marcus. George. Fucking helps out Marcus for whatever fucking reason. Uh, -huh. uh Mitchell helps George for literally no reason. Do you know how Marcus works? He's yeah. like, hey, help me take him down. And then he points at someone on the other side of the table, and I'll be like, 
uh, I don't know, maybe. And I'd be like, okay, let's do it. Uh, there's Marcus the one is game. charismatic. There was the one game we played uh, where you, Randy, and Marcus all teamed up to like fucking bring me down. I was at like 100 life. I went down to like 15. Yeah. And I was like, well, fuck, I guess I'm just dead. And it was like, you're not dead. You're not just dead. And I was like, well, I'm looking at it on board. <laughs> Randy can kill me and you can kill me. And then it killed me, everyone. And William can kill me. And then Marcus board wiped. Oh. <laughs> and then I won. And he was like, remember when I killed Ben, you guys? And I was like, I remember when you let me win. Why Wait, did you do that? What was the match that I killed everyone? Like, I, I, I was a mathematical genius on accident. Because uh, I was able to swing something at Randy, uh, kill him, and then swing something at Marcus and kill him. And then was, I still had enough to swing at you and kill you or something. Was that the green-blue deck? I have no idea. Like, I think, I think it might have been the green... I don't know. Uh, it may not have been in that order, but... But anyways, uh, there's... There's a lot of fun games in Magic too, and I gotta upload more episodes because it currently looks like the only time I actually have fun in Magic is when I win, and that's not true. <laughs> I gotta prove that's not the case. Uh, oh, it's <laughs> I can, uh, I have fun when Mad. My most fun uh, games of Magic is where everybody gets to do what their deck wants to do. Everybody gets a spot in the limelight where it's like, I had a crazy turn, and then I yeah. passed it over to this person, and mm -hmm. they got to do something crazy, pass to the next person, got to do something crazy. Uh, and that's one of my favorite decks for that reason. I have a deck that just lets everybody do something crazy. Yeah. Uh, and it, fucking, that's the one Mitchell killed? Mitchell oh. was like, I gotta beat that one down, and it was like, fucking, why, though? I gotta beat that one down that lets us have fun. Yeah, that lets every, I, it was literally like, uh, people were like, I don't know about my opening hands, and I was like, I'm gonna make everybody's opening hands okay, and which was like, Ben's gonna be the threat player at the end of the day. Ugh. George has three planeswalkers, oh, gotta kill Ben, just in case. Marcus drew 15 cards, gotta kill Ben. I feel like, does George go after, uh, planeswalkers a lot? Just planeswalkers? Just... Uh, he does, uh, he likes to do big stupid he stuff. He goes for the best planeswalkers cards. Planeswalkers are big stupid uh, stuff. Uh, I feel like I could compare him, uh, I could compare George to someone with too many Sugos on their hand. Yeah. Uh, uh, in which they just, oh boy, it's like they can just do anything flashily, they don't have to work hard for a Sugo. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how you could work, I mean, yeah, you could work hard for a Sugo. By if, completing quests. If you've gotten, if you've never spent any money on Treasure Cruise and you've right. only, uh, check out our series where we don't spend any money on it. Yeah. Uh, episodes. How many episodes we got recorded? Like three? Like three. First one's great. I wish the audio was better. The audio is fine. You said, uh, you couldn't hear us sometimes. Or it was like. Oh, that. yeah, you're right. The music is a little loud. Uh, I gotta upload the second one. We're getting long in this podcast. I mean, it's fine. We we break 40 a lot. Uh, I feel like we should spin, spin back off onto the topic. Spinoffs? Uh, I love my friends. That's the moral <laughs> of the story. Oh, boy. Uh, I think uh, everybody I play Commander with is a great people. You think your friends listen would listen to the podcast? I feel like this is the one episode they're going to listen to, and they're going to be like, actually, fuck Ben. I mean, if you want to... Uh, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag. But you hate one of them. <laughs> and I'll leave it there. That's the end of the episode, actually. <laughs> if you listen to the first letter of every one of our podcasts, you can find out who it is. Their name is 22 letters long. It actually says Ben. <laughs> oh, no. That is the real darkness. I hate myself of, most of all. It actually says all of their names. <laughs> <laughs> it's in order... George Washington? <laughs> uh, what if it was? What if we actually did that? What, to reveal which one of your friends you hated? No, what <laughs> if it actually did spell out a name? George Washington? <laughs> Hold on. What name does it spell out? Let's That's check the titles. That's actually crazy. Uh, <laughs> they, oh, it actually, shit. it's C C C C C C C C C. Oh, shit, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> CC's Pizza. Uh, Alright. Oh, what would you rate them? Cookie, the the cake and cake milk is pretty good. I had a weird taste in my mouth. Uh, so the first one is C. It's uh cookies and milk episode one. Ben, be serious. There's no. There's there's we, there's no title. It's oh cookies okay. And milk Sorry one. about that. Uh, and then so all right, let's start with two. Uh, it's uh P T M R. 
Oh no, these are a lot of uh S. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh Where's the w vowels? Damn it. W What? How? P uh it was Whisknog and then we're good. Fuck. <laughs> uh, P T Are you serious? Uh T T I G M A There's a vowel W F I know oh, it not F. What was it? Ten. Ten? I the the number ten? T W S. Two, two vowels. V. Two vowels. K. Two fucking vowels for titles. Uh, I'm mad at myself now. Uh hey me. Uh in the future. Just hit up the thirty nine second or th- or thirty nine minute or thirty eight minute mark. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on the screen. Why? It's gonna be Oh the I'm numbers gonna... or the letters? Yeah. And a number. <sighs> Do you wanna leave it off on that? Fucking I feel like we missed a great opportunity to talk about Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and how good the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games are. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> Which is like, I'll talk about Mass Effect another day. I cannot stress enough how much I like my friends and how much I like playing Commander with them. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I didn't get enough of the, uh, I talked a lot of trash on them and I didn't get to the end of the uh, bit where I was like, but they all got really I'm good even, I'm ending too. the recording. All right, great. Uh, you're all great people. He hates Marcus. Okay. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right. See you guys uh, next week. I've been your host, William. I'm your host, Ben. And this is uh, Cookies and Milk, a video game podcast about video games. Bye.